Welcome to Antibes, the second largest town on the French Riviera with a population of just over 70,000 people. Now everyone has heard of Nice, Monaco and Cannes, but you might not have heard of Antibes. Now today I'm going to show you why this hidden gem is worth a visit. Antibes is located just between Nice and Cannes and you can get here direct on the train from Nice in just 25 minutes. Now Antibes is a great choice for a day or an afternoon out. Here you can avoid the major crowds, but still experience the scenery, culture and beaches that make the Riviera so popular. Now let's go explore. Antibes was founded in the 4th century BC by the ancient Greeks, and back then it was known as Antipolis. Now for a long time it formed the border between the French and Savoy territories and was heavily fortified. Louis XIV's military engineer, the Marquis de Vauban, completed the work in the 16th century with the magnificent Fort Carré. Just in front of the fort, you have the statue of the Poilu, who was the ordinary French soldier during the First World War. Standing at over 22 meters high, it is the tallest war memorial in France. Speaking of Vauban, he gives his name to the largest port on the whole Mediterranean. A whole host of millionaires, more they got here in the port Vauban, including Russian businessman Roman Abramovich. Now for a permanent berth here in the port, you're gonna to need to fork out over 1 million euros. There are an impressive 2,000 moorings here. The marina has the capacity to hold boats over 100 meters long, and you can see them all just strolling through. The Promenade Amiral de Grasse offers incredible views of the sea to the east, built along the old ramparts and under the old cathedral, and the Chateau Grimaldi home to the family of the same name since the 17th century. Now, if you're disappointed that Nice doesn't have a sandy beach, then why not come to Antibes? The Plage de la Gravette is beautifully situated at the foot of the old fortifications. This photogenic building has a quirky message at the bottom in Provençal, the old dialect of this region. And it says, in this house, Napoleon never slept, but a bona parte, or a good amount, of beautiful women from here and there. Yeah. Art lovers get a wonderful surprise here in Antibes at the Musée Picasso, where the second floor houses his collection. Now, Picasso moved to the Riviera in 1946, and he produced most of the paintings in the collection in one single season. The old town of Antibes is surprisingly large and wonderfully preserved, immaculately laid out for you to discover. Now, not only are there a wide variety of restaurants and bars here, but Antibes is also famous for its walk-in galleries and artists' workshops. This workshop is called the Atelier du Safranier, and it's been here for 24 years. Now, artists can come here the whole year round and practice their etching, engraving, and sculpture techniques using the historic 18th century press. It's not just the port that's home to the wealthy. When the town dismantled its defensive walls in the 19th century, there was a new openness which attracted high profile stars like F. Scott Fitzgerald and even the Kardashians in the modern era. To discover even further, walk all the way down the eastern coastal side until you reach the gorgeous, meticulously maintained peninsula of Cap d'Antibes famous for the villas and private beaches that over the years have welcomed a star-studded cast of movie stars visiting the Riviera for the Cannes Film Festival. Make your way down to the Plage de la Garoupe with its powerful lighthouse casting a beam for 50 kilometers out to sea. Here is where the walking trail, the Sentier du Tirpoil, starts. You're going to want to reach the end because there's a very special surprise waiting. Thank you so much for watching. Please check out our other videos here. If you're coming to the French Riviera and want to find out more about the region's rich history and culture, why not take a tour with us? Visit www.rivierabarcrawltours.com and join us.